Many Fox Pro game calls can be completely programmed from home with the use of a computer. Before starting, refer to your Fox Pro Digital Game Call Instruction Manual to verify it can be programmed from home. It is possible to reprogram from a Windows-based PC as well as a Mac. You will need a computer with an available USB port to connect to. Please note it is not recommended that you connect to a USB hub, but rather a USB port directly on your computer. You will also need an online connection. To download the free programming utility, go to www.gofoxpro.com. Under the Resources tab, select Programming Support Center. If you are on a Windows-based system, select the first link, Installing the Programming Utility. Mac users, select the third link, Installing the Java-based Programming Utility. From here, select the download installer that best suits your operating system. Depending upon your internet browser, you may be prompted to open, run, or save the file that is being requested. Some browsers may not prompt you for action and just save the file to your default download folder. If you are presented the option, we recommend selecting either open or run. In doing this, the installer will automatically launch when the file has been downloaded. Otherwise, you will need to browse your download folder for the install file. To locate the installer, you may need to navigate to the Start button. Select All Programs, Fox Pro, Fox Pro Programmer. You will then need to open the file to launch the installer. The installation is very brief and straightforward. When the installation is complete, a message of success will display on the screen. Connect your Fox Pro Digital Game Call to your computer. To locate your USB port, refer to your Fox Pro Digital Game Call instruction manual. After connecting your Fox Pro Game Call to your computer, the utility should recognize the device as being a valid product and display connected to, followed by the device name. The caller's sound files column should become active and display the sounds currently installed. At this point, it is a good idea to back up your sounds. Press Backup Sounds. This copies the sound files from your Fox Pro Digital Game Call and saves them to the specified location on your computer. Press Perform Backup. The interface is divided into two main sections, source files and caller files. Source sound files represents your collection of sounds or personal sound library stored locally on your computer. The Caller Files section represents the contents of your Fox Pro Game Call. The Source Files side features several buttons and a list box. Source Files represents sound files that are stored on your computer only. By default, the application looks for new sound files in a specific location on your hard drive. The typical location is under Documents, Fox Pro, Sounds. If valid sound files are found in these locations, they will be listed in the Source Files column. You can change the current source path by clicking on the Browse button and navigating to a different location on your computer. Directly beneath the Sound Files column, you will find three buttons, Info, Refresh, and Select All. The Info button displays information about the currently selected sound file. The Refresh button refreshes source files if that directory has changed outside the scope of the application. Select All simply selects all of the sounds and source files. To the right of this section is the Insert button. This button will insert the selected sounds from the source files into caller files. To use the Insert button, highlight one, multiple, or all of the sounds listed in the Source Files column. Click on the position in caller files that you would like to begin the insertion. If a sound file already exists at the point of insertion, that sound and all subsequent sounds will be pushed up the list to make room. Click the Insert button in the middle of the screen. A status bar will appear keeping you up to date on the progress of the insertion. You can also drag and drop sound files. Highlight one, multiple, or all the sounds listed in the Source Files column. You can then drag and drop your selection into the Caller Files. The Caller Files column is populated with the list of sound files stored in the Foxpro device that is connected to the computer. To the right of the Caller Files column, there are five buttons, Move Up, Move Down, 
Rename, Remove, and Info. Select a sound and press Move Up to bump the sound up the list. Press Move Down to move the file down the list. The Remove button results in the highlighted sound being deleted from the Foxper device. Rename enables you to rename the selected sound. The Info button displays information about the currently selected sound file. Beneath the Color Files column, you'll find five more buttons. Erase List, Backup Sounds, Set Channel, Edit Categories, Foxcast, and Print List. Two of these buttons, Edit Categories and Foxcast, will only be available on certain FoxPro devices. Erase List allows you to quickly remove all the files from the FoxPro device. Be sure to make a fresh backup prior to erasing your entire list. The Backup Sounds button allows you to perform a backup. Backing up your FoxPro device means that you are making a localized copy of all valid sound files within the FoxPro device to a specific location on your hard drive. When you click Backup, you will see a screen similar to the following. The Browse button allows you to change the default backup location. The Perform Backup button starts the actual backup process. Append Today's Date to Backup Path provides a way of archiving your backups dynamically. Finally, you will notice the Append Position Number. When inserting new sounds into the game call, there may be times when you want to preserve a particular file name. For example, if you have a Fox profile named 207 Coyote Locator and insert it into the game call, the 207 will be changed to the position value for where the sound is being inserted. To preserve the entire file name, make sure that you click the Append Position Number to File Name checkbox. Across the bottom of the interface is the Status Strip. This strip displays the device type, sound usage and capacity, and free space. On FoxPro game calls that feature the TX1000 remote control, Category Editor provides you with a method of managing your category file through an interface rather than manually modifying the categories file. When you click on Edit Categories button, you will see a screen similar to the following. The screen is split into two main sections, Sounds on Device and Category Assignments. Sounds on Device provides a list of all sound files that are installed in your FoxPro game call. The Category Assignments column displays all categories in a tree view. Each category name has a symbol to the left of it. Click on this arrow to view the individual sounds in the category. The New Category button allows you to create a new category. The Insert button allows you to add sounds from the Sounds on Device column into a specific category. The Remove Selected button allows you to remove individual sounds or entire categories. This has no impact on the Sounds on Device column. The Rename button allows you to rename a category. The Up and Down buttons enable you to move the sound selected in the category up or down within the specific category. You can also use this to move entire categories up or down the list. Save and Exit will update the category file in your FoxPro device. On FoxPro models that support FoxCast, you can use this button to launch the FoxCast sequence editor. This editor allows you to create new sequences or modify existing sequences. After clicking on the button, you will see the following screen. The screen is split into three main sections, Sounds and Caller, Commands, and Sequence. The Volume button allows you to add a volume command to the sequence layout. The Sound button enables you to add a new sound entry to the sequence layout. The Pause button allows you to add a pause to the sequence layout. On some FoxPro models, you will find the Decoy button active. This allows you to add in the Decoy on or off command to your sequence layout. On some FoxPro models, you can turn on Fox Motion to a specific setting by using the Fox Motion button. On some FoxPro models, you can activate Fox Pitch through the Fox Pitch button. The End Sequence button gives you the option to end your sequence with Jukebox Mode, Repeat, or Quit. Jukebox Mode will play on to the next sequence. Repeat will repeat the sequence, and Quit will stop the sequence upon completion. The Open button allows you to browse your FoxPro game call or hard drive for existing sequence files and then open them to view or edit. 
The Save button allows you to save the sequence layout as an actual sequence file. The Clear button allows you to clear the sequence box. When finished, to close the programming utility, go to File, Exit. A message will pop up reminding you that on some Fox Pro callers, you may need to update your remote control in order to view the new sound list.